BBC School Report. I'm Eve. And I'm William. Today's top story. Donald Trump has said he stands in solidarity with its closest ally, the UK, and supports its decision to expel 23 Russian diplomats. The US President offered the UK any assistance that it needs with the investigation. Theresa May said the diplomats would have to leave after Moscow refused to explain how Russian made nerve agent was used on a former spy in the UK. Moscow denies responsibility. Parents have had to pay £24 million for failing to send their children to school during the past three years. Some parents say they now actively budget for the costs of fines when planning holidays. Councils admit they have become stricter as they are protecting the education of children. The pupil absence rate is 4.5% according to the latest figures. The air in the UK is becoming more and more polluted due to high emission cars. Yes, that's right. After tax changes by former councillor George Osborne, a Porsche driver was left paying the same tax as a low emission Prius driver. New studies show that there is a potential risk in drinking water. The latest research is about microplastics particles that are small enough to be ingested. It comes after journalism, organisation or media found plastic particles in many major brands of bottled water. There is no evidence that microplastics can undermine human health, but the WHO wants to access the state of knowledge. Bruce Gordon, coordinator of the WHO's Global Work on Water and Sanitation, told the BBC News that their key question was whether a lifetime of eating or drinking particles of plastic could have an effect. Mr Gordon said that he did not want to alarm anyone and also emphasis that a far greater waterborne threat comes in countries where supplies can be contaminated with sewage. As you have most likely heard, the famous researcher and scientist Stephen Hawking has recently died, which has left the country in a sad and despondent state. However, he didn't leave us with nothing. Although he mainly worked in physics and theorised about black holes, the researcher did sometimes philosophise about the future. Recently, his theorems have been collected since his death. Over the years, Hawking has been troubled that we are only living on Earth, and that if disasters were to occur, everything would be lost. And so for decades he has repeatedly asked us to begin re researching colonisation more thoroughly and the statements have repeatedly made big headlines. Over to Tom and Molly who have a special report from Bishop Scott Talent from last night. Good afternoon, my name is Molly and my name is Tom and you're watching Bishop Talent's school report. Last night Bishop Talent held Bishop Scott Talent in the auditorium at 7.30. It was a very tight competition between some of the best acts Bishop Talent has had yet. The competition varied from Year 7 to 6 formers who each had their own unique talents. It was to be a tough decision to select a winner, but Daniel from the 6th form won by singing I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raddick. <laughs> the song has been covered by lots of famous artists in the past, such as Adele. Adele. Here's a clip of Daniel in action now. Cause I can't make you love me What made you want to sing I Can't Make You Love Me last night? What made me want to do it? Um, I just think it's a beautiful song. So, um, well, I heard uh, Bonnie Vare's version of it and the piano part's beautiful on it, so I thought I'll try to do it. I didn't do it as well as him, but <laughs> I gave it a shot. So. Okay. What was going through your head before they announced you won? I was, I was still thinking about Mrs Smith, because... Um, then they announced that she was leaving us, and we love you, Mrs. Smith. But uh, yeah, and then I heard my name, and it all sort of happened in slow motion. I was, um, I was very happy. So. Did you expect to win? No. If if I say I did, then that's a bit. <laughs> so I'll say no. No, I didn't expect to. There were a lot of very good acts, so I was very happy to win. What was your favourite act from Bishop Scott Talent? My favourite act. There was a lot of good acts. Um, top three then. Top three, okay. Nia was very good. Nia on the guitar and singing. Um, Liam was very good. And one more. The dancers, Nathan and the dance club, they were very good. So. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. What a lovely report. Thanks, Tom and Molly. Daniel's such a deserving winner. 
Now over to Alice and Molly with the latest sport. Welcome to BBC School Sport Report. I'm Alice. And I'm Molly. Chelsea fan Chelsea have been made aware of incidents outside Barcelona's new camp stadium before Wednesday's game in which a number of fans were hurt. Videos on social media show clashes between fans and security before the Champions League last 16 second leg. The Catalan police force told BBC Sport they have not received reports of any incidents. Chelsea have been asked fans to contact them about their experiences of arriving at the stadium. Great Britain will not win a medal in the wheelchair curling at the Winter Paralympics after failing to reach the semi-finals. GB's 5-4 loss to South Korea meant Norway claimed fourth spot in the table with their 7-6 victory over Slovakia. Britain bronze medalist at Sochi four years ago still have to play China in their final match at 10.35 GMT and cannot finish higher than fifth. Aileen Nielsen's rink have lost five matches in total. Now back to the studio. Thank you for tuning in. More on BBC Score Report later. And now over to Maliki with the weather. Today was quite a wet start for parts of eastern England, south of Scotland, and the north of England as we saw a rain sandwich on both sides. This, this is a band of rain with, with dry either side, edging northwards across the Midlands and South East England before it warms up. Most areas will be experiencing cloudiness with some breaking of sunshine later on. Parts of the country will see temperatures reaching in the teens in some areas. Rain will be heading towards the Scottish mountains and it will snow over on Friday. There's been a yellow weather warning issued for the end of the week with warnings of ice and snow causing some roads and railways likely to be affected, so be careful.